Okay, in a previous video I've talked about kill digging, ending your node's life as fast as you can. However, that's not the only way to do it, although it's the preferred way for a lot of people. There's a second way to dig called two-step. It was uh, discovered by a man called Xycox, I believe. Actually, it was discovered by several people in a short um, time span but it's remembered as the Xycox shuffle for some reason. Okay, again, before going into the actual details of the digging, let's go again sh very shortly through the actions that I use to dig. So, prospecting will use the maximum bricks that you have available. As a master, I have angle 7 that's uh, in a circle around me, I have speed 5 that's maximum, and so on and so forth. What you basically need is to have up to choice prospection that should be nice to have, especially as a, as a high level digger, since using only choice may be a bit difficult for you. You might uh, deplete the choice deposit and then you're going to sit around idle waiting for it to refill while you could still dig fine or even basic materials. Okay, of course you have to, to have prospections, you don't really need them, you could grind, just dig everything, but still it's really nice to have them. One important thing that you have to consider is the extraction time. Now for a master you will want to have extraction time 3, actually 4 is even nicer. You don't really care about 5, 6, 7, you, you especially don't care about them in, um, in the two-step, but having 3 or 4 is mandatory. Having only 1 or 2 is going to make your node end much too soon for, for your liking, you will see. Okay, and uh, the second prospecting action is really similar to the first, except I don't have any range. So I can do tricks like prospecting first with this nice 20 meter range, finding some nodes, you can see them on my compass, and then when, once I found something I can go there and use this action on top of the node I found and um, get some more. Unless the, the deposit is really depleted, usually this trick works. If I do deplete the deposit I can simply reuse this action find some more nodes, move there, and so on and so forth. I have a focus heal for 500, it's uh, on a nice cooldown, only 2 minutes, so it should be back up before you, you're done taking everything. The care plan actions are really typical, I have one that uh, heals back both the preservation of the node uh, heals back both um, source life, that's preservation, and heals back stability, that's the extraction risk. This one makes your node end, you stop digging the moment this one reaches zero, and the extraction risk, of course, if it goes to zero, you're going to either blow up or release some very nasty gas. Of course, desert specialization is nice to have, and um, this one... Uh, I, I suppose it's nice to have. I never studied this. You, you will you will want to ask an actual old player about uh, the usefulness of this stanza. The other action that I used much more, just for explosions, the other action only heals back the stability. And of course has these two bricks that are supposed to be useful. Okay. So... Of course, in this uh, two-step method, I'm going to rely on both bars being healed back to life. Now, you'll, you're already familiar with my um, actions, I suppose. If you're not, if you have not seen the other video, there's good news for you. You don't have to listen to explanations for all four. You only need two actions for this. The default action that I use for kill digging too is simply the best level that you have, the best quality in the gentle version, your best speed in the gentle version, and your best rate in harmful version. 
This will just make your bars go down, the um, extraction risk and the source life. They will go down, shall we say, in a natural way. Okay, on top of that you want the desert specialization for the specialization for the terrain you're on. If you're in jungle, of course you want jungle specialization. You want this um, material specialization. It makes your um, nodes quality climb very fast uh, as opposed to not having this uh, this brick this um, option and this one you don't have to care about absorb source damage it's supposed to help i i do believe it helps a bit in a way that i can't really describe so just ignore it for the um, for the purpose of this video okay however for uh, kill digging you needed the first four for uh, this one you actually need a two the first part of the two step this action is the one you're going to actually start with and then you're going to switch to something else for instance to the default one so this action only needs the desert specialization the local specialization maximum speed because why not some harmful rate and um, quality 20 only 20 your aim is to keep this action quite low on focus costs for me it's 125 I can afford that I don't mind so why do I have this action it's uh, simply to explain there's a link between the quality of the node you're digging and the speed with which the available extraction time goes down. If you remember from your first time in, a, in the tutorial in Ceylon, or even digging around capital cities maybe, when you came to the mainland, you will remember that your all your node's life was going down extremely fast. Sometimes you would blow up or gas, but lots of times you would simply and the digging because your extraction time went out that was because you were digging level 20 level 40 something like that so of course the time was going down very fast so the point of this quality 20 action is to actually bring down the timer forcibly to about half or whatever suits you and then and only then you go and start climbing towards your target quality, towards your actual skill level. So there's a risk involved in this. If you fail to trigger this action in time, your time will, um, your timer will end, and you will have an underleveled node, which of course gives almost no experience. On the other hand, if you only use this action too few times, if you only bring down one quarter of uh, this timer, and then you switch to this uh, default action, you might find yourself out of focus because this action uses a lot, 250 for each swing of the pick. So you have to find a balance for yourself between these two. As I said, I use a sort of visual cue, I wait until timer is about halfway down, and then I switch. So okay, let's see this in action, but of course I'm going to shuffle them around. I really like having to press the button number three, key, uh, number three on the keyboard to start digging. So you can see the timer is very, very fast. I have to heal a bit but just once that's enough keep digging I already have six materials heal once more and I'm switching to the target quality so I had as you noticed I had dug about eight materials at quality 20 without much risk for myself and only now do I have to switch to a um, higher level action. So, having switched, I dig another 8 materials or something like that. 
Okay, I've reached the target quality to 50, so I can get out of the gas and um, wait for the timer to end. The advantage to this method is that your dig timing is much more predictable. So you know you're going to swing the pick a number of predefined times. You have to backheal the node to use care planning actions for one or two actions, for one or two swings of the pick. And then you can switch to this one again, dig a few times, backheal, dig a few more times and you ended the node. The average node for me takes about one minute, give or take, actually a bit more than one minute, and that's using a care planning alt. So I have an alt, a second character, so to speak, that will only use preservation and um, stability, sometimes even out of team. Using level one of this costs very few focus, and uh, you could basically keep the alt out of team, she doesn't steal your experience, but you still get the the nice perks of not having to spend time care planning your, yourself. But of course alts and uh, their use is a subject for a completely different video. Okay, going to sit down for a bit and um, regen my focus. It doesn't really matter how much focus I have unlike the other dig method because I'm most of the times I'm going to reach target quality much uh, faster than my focus is depleting okay again start digging you can watch my uh, these bars going down this time they're nicer they're playing really nice okay heal once keep waiting I still have some 4000 focus, that's another uh, cue that you can use. When you go down to 3700, that's, a, that's the cue to switch actions. Of course it's going to be different for you depending on uh, level, on uh, what gear you have. I have boosted gear, extra focus, so my total is uh, really high. You may not have uh, 5400. Okay, another thing, if the source contents have been exhausted, you can stop digging right then. If you dug everything in the node, if you reached target quality, you don't have to keep digging. You can simply sit down and wait for the timer to end. And it will end, of course, in um, the predefined time that you, you know about, that one minute and a few seconds. There's one discussion that could be had about this. Uh, personally, I don't have uh, an idea if it's correct or not, but I heard another player, Phyros Freddy, I believe, he said that if you keep using kill dig, if you insist on ending nodes faster, you're going to slowly drive down this uh, source content. So nodes could have up to 30 materials in them. Actually, I believe I saw 24 or 25 at, at most. But if you use a special pick, you could take up to 30 out of that. So, however, if you keep using kill digging, you will slowly bring down this source content in all the nodes you prospect, down to 15, 20, and so on. In a normal dig, using the two-step, you should be able to easily get 16 materials up to 21, 22 if you have a care planner and you're not wasting time stopping to care plan for yourself. However, uh, this type of nodes with only 20 ma 12 materials are really bad for you, for um, your efficiency, and that's for an obvious reason. You're going to have 8 materials by the time you are barely switching to the second action. And see, I have seven materials, that's eight. And um, I'm going to deplete this node very fast. And then I will just be sitting around waiting for level 250 to be reached. And then I will just be sitting like a clown doing nothing 
waiting for a timer to end. So I've seen older players, and it does make sense that they're doing it. I've seen older players looking around and trying to only target those nodes that have a lot of materials in them. Because there's no point trying uh, to start a node that has 12 mats. That's stupid. You're wasting your own time. By the way, your experience, your final experience for a node, sadly I can't show it to you because I'm not, um, I, I'm master, I'm not gaining experience anymore. Your, your final experience depends on node quality, that's a, that's a must, but it also depends quite heavily on um, the amount of materials you dug. So the more materials you get out of the node using this, the, be the better. See, this is a nice fat node, 25 materials, I will not be able to dig all 25, not in a million years, but nevertheless, it's still nice to see such, uh, such an amount. I could delay for a bit and switch only later right now for instance I only have uh, I had slightly less than half the time and it's still going to be sufficient to reach 250 before the time ends but of course the tighter the time frame that you give yourself the higher the chances that your node is going to end without reaching this uh, nice fat 250 so of course that's up to you what you would like to do if you want to take your chances take your chances this um, mode of digging is uh, not as efficient i believe it's only q20 that doesn't matter it however it only has rate 5 doesn't have rate 6 this rate basically dictates how many fragments of of material you get with each swing of the pick so for instance rate 5 means 0 0.6 materials each time um, rate 6 means I believe 0 0.8 and of course the speed means how fast you're swinging the pick so the faster you are swinging the more materials you get and so on it's this two these two parameters basically are linked with each other you want both of them to be nice okay one more note I believe I uh, got the point across see I have 16 materials I haven't checked 16 is nice I, I suppose it's uh, right on the border I might be able to dig exactly 16 and um, the life should the timer should end almost imme immediately after Again, I'm delaying for a bit and switching when I have almost one quarter of the time allotted for, for the node. It's risky, but I might be able to pull it off if I don't have to care plan. However, I do have to care plan. So I end up with um, an underleveled node, only 219. Of course, um, in your digging career, this m might not be too dramatic. I still got 16 of them by the way. This is not dramatic because uh, if you're like me you will probably have a digging level that's much higher than your crafting level. So if you're digging materials of quality 250 in order to level up crafting that's level let's shall we say 200 only. Of course you will not care um, if you're using level to 210, 220 or 250 materials because your actual items that you're making will be 200 so but then again the more you approach mastery in um, different crafting levels you will start caring more and more about this kind of stuff you will want to keep consistently at 250 Again, I personally I don't really like this mode. Not when I'm when I'm alone. I believe kill digging is much uh, easier. You can control uh, 
your tempo much easily you can use you will remember from the other video I hope you can control the tempo using more aggressive actions like this one or uh, even the first one where I have even harmful quality so those ones can be used to bring down node life ASAP however in uh, in the two step your only tool so to say is uh, bringing down the timer to half or below half and then using some action doesn't matter which and um, praying that you're going to reach a nice amount of materials at the end of the dig um, it's actually nice to use this one however if you have an alt if you have a or or a care planner someone who wants experience from you and uh, you don't care so much about experience so that's um, whatever then of course you can focus on uh, your digging you can find only nodes that have lots of materials and then you start this one you wait to hear the number of pig swings you, you don't even have to watch the screen basically at some point it's going to be muscle memory you know that you start the digging you know that after a few seconds you have uh, dug eight materials you will know timer is uh, at half and you will know um, intuitively that you have to switch to the second action and then you know again intuitively that it's going to take some 40 seconds or whatever and uh, then you you will have ended you can collect your materials and you can rinse and repeat basically if you, if you have someone care planning for you with this way of digging you can watch TV and simply not care on top of that if you for instance only have knowledge one you could even make a macro for, for yourself that will target your own nodes and start digging for you at that point of course you are almost fully uh, decoupled from the actual act of digging and considering a lot of people hate digging hate that this boring grind being able to do something else while also digging it's a nice perk I believe okay so this is pretty much it I may come back with um, different type of videos about digging about deposits about deposit types and so on and so forth but um, for now thank you for watching and um, goodbye